Yeah. Here is our four series. Pretty certain I will have sold a car. Guess we're gonna quit. Out of a job, Toby, sorry. <laughs> the architect's here to look at extending the wash bay. Don't do it to the next one. Best car bought, best car sold. Biggest headache and biggest win. So. So what I could do is load it all up, take it on farm, and then and then do something Pop else. over to the trailer, and then go and pick up our, or the truck, whatever you want. Yep. And walk out to pick up from Bristol? Only an A-Class. A uh, little A-Class. Yeah, but it's a newer A-Class, so you probably want the trailer. I don't know. Yeah. It might be alright, but... I'll take the trailer just in case. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I'll get it thrown in there. Alright. Get the shops off I probably won't be able to get it booked in until like three or four. Yeah, that's fine. I was supposed to sort of do a lounge over it, but they pulled out, so... Uh, okay. I have all the time in the world. Um, yeah, I'll get a full throw in there, and we've got loads of shit at the farm. Uh, what did them do with like all the like um, smart car bits, like Jordan's yeah, well, fenders and stuff? Yeah, we'll go there. We'll have to um, anything that's metal yep. that's down there, like I know their exhausts separated. and yeah. stuff that they've left. Yeah, can go in with the scrap. Batteries, obviously, there's a load of batteries down there. Collect a few of those up. Separate them, don't you? Yeah, we'll chuck them in the back of this truck. Yeah. For example, yeah. you should probably make more off the batteries than you will off all that metal. You made off all, I thought you had to pay for them to take them away. No, it's like they give you like five or six quid a battery. Really? Yeah. Um, I'm going start stealing some batteries then. And yeah. all the cars around here. Like, yeah, we'll be going out to start all the cars. Like, Where's that gone? McCauley! What fucking batteries? Um, yeah, so it'd be good to get rid of some of the drums. You've been in these things as well. I well, assume it's, it drops pressure, but if you want it, I'm sure you can have it. I assume that's why it's I mean, out the here. The problem is I don't have a ramp, so it'd be kind of ah. like a, a useless thing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Someone in the scrapyard would be like, yeah, I'm over that. Yeah, it's fine, I'll get all loaded up then. Cool, well, that, right. That big container, what do you want to do with that? That big vault thing? Oh, uh, well, that can stay there, because that's like going on we've got all the paint and everything in it. And you see these oh. tubs here, these white tubs? Yeah. They've got like, um, Tarmac paint, like cement paint. Yeah. That's what's in there, so don't throw them. I'll put those in there, yeah? Well, just don't put them in with the scrap. No, that's fine, yep. Everything else can load in there. Obviously, Sweet. we've got bumpers and stuff like that. We're gonna they won't take tires. Out. We'll have to pay to get rid of those. Yeah, yeah. tires, obviously. Yeah, they don't take them. Well, you have to pay for them. They charge me for wheels. Well, it's, it's a metal recyclers anyway, not a scrap yard. Yeah. This thing here, which is something, I don't know why it's been dumped outside, but that's that. And that's that the, the paint thing down that's in the farm. That's my wheel rotating thing. For the paint thing in the farm. What yeah, paint? yeah. The, the the rest of it got taken down to the farm in the shed. So what do we got at the back of the thing? Oh, like the yeah, the yeah. cabinet that it was sat on. But yeah. that there is something that I bought, which you can rotate wheels for spraying them. That's cool. And it's been dumped out here to rust. I'll put it in the back, so it gets put away in the farm. That's fine. Uh, anything I'm unsure on, I'll come grab you. Cool, no worries. Um, there's some discs inside, yeah. which came off the RS4. I want to keep those. And there's some little bits around. I'm going to run around in there, pick up off the floor. There's a like gearbox and yeah, broken okay. and some right. other bits. Make sure it's not the wrong gearbox. Yeah, no, I'm Make sure it's not mine. Yeah. <laughs> also, and it's a BCA Bristol, yeah? The job? Yeah, I'll go and get it put now while I'm mine. Sweet. Joe needs to start. It's part worn tyre company. Look at that. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, that's old in it. Right, let's get this fucker in. Good time. You know that? The problem with going inside the scrap man. Is they like charge you for some things and not for other things? Two fair, they're really nice down. I always go to um there's one in Western, there's one in Bridgewater, there's like Johnson's Metals in Bridgewater. I like them now, that sound. Someone left a screw in that bad boy. No one teach you to suck eggs or anything, but 
surely if you pulled it forward. <laughs> yeah, no, I was going to, but then I didn't want to get in the way of Mark. Looks like he's done there now. If you pulled the truck into yeah, there. Yeah, if he's you'd... done, I'll get into it the way and I'll, I'll put it forward. Uh, um, is this part of that? That spinny thing? Or is it yeah. Sure? yeah, okay, I'll keep that's, it separate then. That's the wheel. Then, right. um, keep. There's a little pole in here for it. Somewhere. Yeah, well, it keeps snapping, so. Ladder as well, we keep that as well, don't we? Yeah. Uh, I booked your collection in for four o'clock. That's my favorite. That was the earliest I could get. So. That's fine, I'll, I'll be there third time. Aluminium, it goes over there. Aluminium, aluminium part. Uh, it's actually aluminium. <laughs> <laughs> aluminium. Yeah. It's probably done in a minute. Looking pretty heavy now. Yeah. And there's stuff at the farm in here. Should we level it out Do you reckon it's going to be enough, Tobes? Oh, well. It's quite loose in the back, isn't it? More where it's going to droop and like hide my plate. Yes, we're off to go and pick up a BMW 420D from BCA Bridgewater. It's quite a leggy one, 125,000 miles manual, but it was cheap. I just thought it looked like good value, so uh, it would be a good car for the forecourt. And I thought we'd take the 911 because it's a quite a lot of starting it up and moving it around the forecourt, and we'll leave it running for five minutes at a time while we do that. But these Porsches, the boxer engines, they do not like it. So it'll be a good opportunity to give it a good run. And you may not believe it, but I have lost a little bit of weight, so I can kind of about just about fit in the seats now. Probably very comfortable for you, aren't they? You're like oh, sat inside the thing, but I'm like sat across the front of them. I think we'll give this a jet off when we get back. Yeah, fine. Yeah, make some phone calls. All right, yes, I'm a very important businessman from 2004. Just around that time when my watch would have been half decent as well, back in 2004. Oh. Look at that bad boy, that's what we need. I can pop down to the bloody auctions of that bad boy. I'll go and get the thing you park this bad boy up. What are we looking for? Oh, oh a, a blue 420D. Right, here is our 4 Series. Dan's going to make a big point of it being this car sales company place, which we won't put on there, which is local to us. Not all, they clock all their cars, they've got done multiple times clocking their cars. I don't think they have, but he likes to say it anyway. Yeah, they do have some nicer wheels, couldn't they? They're very... I reckon someone else had some nicer wheels in there, because they've got these little body styling bits on, but very bog basic, boring wheels. Thank you, they were giving us doesn't seem to work, so had a boot lip spoiler thing as well by the looks of it. Oi oi, got some rubber mats. It smells alright though, to be fair, it just smells like a BMW, but it's definitely Sounds okay. Oh, it's got the nice big screen. Oh, we've got a smack windscreen. I remember that now. That's why I think we've got this fairly cheap, to be honest. This was like four, eight plus fees or something, which seems quite cheap for one of these. No screen wash. That's upsetting, but at least it is raining, so it will kind of clean that up. Seems okay. Got our service book and everything down there. Definitely wants a really decent valet. To get the seat. Sort it out. Mm -hmm. 
camera in as well. Been a little while since I had a four series. Anyway, it's raining. I'm going to put the uh, tray plate on the back of this. Do you want to drive the Porsche back? Yeah. Hey, hey! It's advertised for nine and a half right now. It's a good price. I think the series is nice. I just, just feel like I want to put some different wheels in there. I might do the wheels black. It's annoying because the wheels are in good condition. But what? This four series I just got, which Ooh, is in like the Esther Real Blue. They just look lost on it. <laughs> well, they're silver. Is it like that Mercedes? I mean, with the. Uh... Well, yeah, they're in silver. They're, they are 18, but they look like they could be 16. Yeah, I know what you mean. They're the same wheels as my white BMW, I think. Which, I don't know, maybe I should I could leave it. I think it looks alright. Yeah, it ain't going to put some people off buying it, is it? I know some dealers, like I'll make Dave at the lovely car company, every car pretty much he comes in, if it's like this, he'll do all the wheels black and whatever. But I think there's. Some people love it. Depends yeah, where you are. If you're in yeah. Yorkshire, I suppose. Yeah, because obviously you're paying out. Taste. But if somebody walks in and says, oh, I wish the wheels were black, you can say, ah, yeah, they yeah. can be. Or I wish the wheels were sky blue plink. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. That tops it off lovely. So just take it, has, it has had a uh, boot thing in there, which I might on put one back on. Yeah, the lips. Yeah, in there. Yeah, I had one back on my E46. Oh, that's bad. Uh, it's diesel, manual, two yeah. litre. It's on a, it is on 124,000, but that makes it really good value. So. Yeah, yeah. And it drives spot on. Yeah. Some roof, heated seats. That's there, but not control. rally, then it's great, you know, it's really going on and on. As you've experienced. There's that stuck on here, but Yeah, it's stuck on little, like, boot spoiler. It's yeah. my little black one, which I might get another one for, because oh, they'll yeah, yeah, the be the cheap enough, and it ties in with the front bumper bits and the side skirt bits they've got the only on. thing about that car, same as the 1 Series, they've got those blue, like, fog light inserts and front balance thing, and it's just got horrible. Needs a windscreen, yeah, I think. So this one looks good, but on, for some reason, on, the, this, uh, on our black 5 Series, well, these are in, like, a horrible blue colour. It fades weirdly. Same as the 1 Series, this one out as well. It's got the upgraded bigger sat-nav and stuff as well, so... So how much does this retail out? Can't remember. I know I put like quite a low proxy bid in because yeah. it had a cracked windscreen and it's slightly high mileage. So then we've got to put like four eight plus fees. It might be nine, that's what I was thinking that I've already given you this idea. Well, the, um, like, rearranging the strap guards to that block bay to make like a one-way system around the building. We need, like, you know, the end space. Yeah. Take those two, like, panel and a half out, and then you could come, like, literally, if I brought that car back now, it would go in a queue, ready yeah. to be washed. I like that. I like that. And then you won't have to always, like, if Steph wants something out of the scrap yard, yeah, you won't you have to ask right, him to yeah. move the wash bay, you just go the other way around. Yeah. Just, just says limbo. Um, Jace, with this LXA, Land Rover, what was the actual... Um... Uh, he came in, I think Adrian diagnosed it Thursday, uh, EGR. Um, and then he rang Saturday, said it's gone to limp mode. And when I started, it's got DPF on it as well now. Um, which is probably why it went to limp mode. Which one's this? The CK65. I really don't want to be scared about putting on land because I've DPF as well with Adrian with that on the ramp. And then the land the Rover, well, we need to... Yeah, we get yeah, yeah, two of them on the ramp with DPF. He's stuck in an EGR, I don't know how long it would be. I thought that was going to be like a couple of hour job that he was on. If Steph starts stripping down for DPF and the EGR, that completely wipes out again. What else? What else we got? Well, we've got C3, then tomorrow's job, so that's the start. C3. Mm -hmm. it's it's C3 can wait. wait. They can yeah, wait. They can wait. wait, because it just puts the fat color in first. Yeah, but see, she's not. She's on holiday. She's not back till next week. So that can wait. Uh, what have we got? Really flexible. 24 for June. Now, just trying to work out how we.
morning. Morning. It's quite nippy that. Yeah. Everyone's going to complain about my unironed shirt again. I don't do ironing. Neither does Sophie, that's the problem. Today we were. I was thinking we could have taken the stickers off because I might send that to auction just to get it mm. sold or whatever. But we do seem to be fairly chock a block with other stuff here, so yep. it might make more sense to just, um, what yeah, just take that three series out to the farm. So if you've just got a viewing on it, so drop that off. I've yeah, got a CLB to go to Crediton. I don't know where Crediton is. Oh yeah, that's not till this afternoon though. I know we should put it in the diary, but that's what he wants to change it to. Um, so yeah, if you just do that, drop the dirty off, come back with the trailer or whatever, just so that we're free to do whatever if needs be. But in the meantime, we'll do some valeting maybe. We'll start knocking through some cars. Right, we're gonna go to my daddy's house and get his digger. Just having like a kind of impulsive decision to just rip the fence panels out. He happens to have bought himself a new digger. I don't think he's used it yet, so I'm going to put it to use. Plan is we'll take two fence panels out and a post, and then we can drive all the way around Borough Motors in a loop, basically. So we can have a queue of cars ready to be washed. I'm just getting sick of all the cars like jammed up, and I can hear it running. It does look very slow. I'm going to go and get the truck, and then we'll. I don't know why he parked so far away. Like there's a space here. Judge how far the far corner is. You got a little camera there. Yeah, yeah but look at the quality of it. Break it. Let's go. Bigger boys. two panels out or one and a half panel.
go around the other side, I think. Get this moved and then we'll do some digger in. Seen digger skills like it, have you? And we get loads of grief from all the plant operators, which, to be fair, it's always one of those things I always say that deserves more credit than it gets plant operators because they're so skilled. Back tires in this corner, which will help keep this fence up, which is obviously get a little traffic cone to mark out how far out you can't park here. Yeah. I don't know if we'll end up putting a gate on here or just put like we've got some like plastic chain type things we can put across. This way whenever we arrive with a car we can put it up here, have like four or five cars parked in there, we to have a queue of cars ready to get valeted. Can I take the truck? Yes. Now we've got to try driving a car around here, but we might need a bit of a tidy up first. We've already taken that. Can't oh out. yeah, you can, can drive out this way. <whistles> it's paying off already. Could be time for a bit of lunch, couldn't it, Tobes? Everyone's, everyone's asking, what's the, why does Joe keep slapping his belly? Is that some kind of secret car dealer code? Yeah, that means I got some banging cars for sale. Car dealers, come buy them. Just like... <laughs> Oh no, it is still there. I am still a massive prick. Uh, yeah, no, I'm checking dresses. You, you can drive right out around there now. Why did you move the truck? I was on top of yellows. Just move that. Do you, do you see a parking one? No, you never know though. You never know. Wait, it does make sense to me, but I thought, I thought, he, was, I thought he was going to take it all down, but he just take them one. Makes sense. Like that.
right now we can shuffle this up and make a bit more space park this up sure that there's a rubbish to clear there Otherwise, it would just well, be the remaining oil. Right, no, no, no. Water out, contaminated oil or whatever. Yeah, I don't know why yeah, they're when, putting... um, when, when, um, scrap somewhere else. Yeah. And then we think about building this out. Yeah. Probably not do. Um, yeah, you literally wouldn't even need to come out too, too far to be honest. Just a few meters yeah. just so it obviously yeah, if it came out like as far as I don't know. Uh, I asked them to send it to Sophie. They know Sophie, something like that. So I'll ask Joe. Hey, what? Did you have an email from those customers? Yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. Because she, she's asking for all the, yeah, she's very anal about paper. Yeah. I've already yeah. sent her the sales receipt. Amazing. Do you want me to do the honours or do you want to? If you, um, she's asking me about it, that's all. If you could do just the V5, yeah. Yeah. and her email address will be in dealer kit under her customer. Oh, the purchase. I've done the purchase mm -hmm. and already emailed it to her. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, the detail, the detail is the other purchase. Yeah. Yeah, that's going later. Oh, Whatever you like, mate. Someone's popped a job right in the middle. Take to my week or tune. It's gone. Ah. Uh, nearly. Pretty certain I will have sold a car. I'm going to hold off doing a video on the same car. Because I don't know. If they buy it, I won't have to do it. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they're going to buy it, so I'm going to wait. <laughs> yeah, probably. Are you aware of the new one way system? Right. You're aware of the new one-way system? Yeah, yeah, I like it. <laughs> okay, it's good. Yeah, I like it. Um, so yeah, I did tell you it's like on this side, really slight dampening. Really slight. Yeah, might be a sort of Yeah, and then um, just this one on the boot, really. Yeah, and then, that's then that's no, there's a lorry. Yeah, I don't know what about that. Yeah, there's a lorry. That'll come out. I don't know if this will, but probably will. Might yeah. be pretty good. It's a lorry, and then the, 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 the rear boot. The rear boot? Yeah, yeah, that'll polish. Really like, the whole thing is very... You got the keys? No, I'll get it here. It's not. Like no, it's not. Inside looks nice. Yeah, inside very nice. I don't like... I don't know what we did with this. I don't like that. It's all like real Oh, yeah. Nah. Yeah, they're trying to make it look, um, it look it's like you've got holes in it. There's no holes no. in it. How's the air supposed to get to the radiator? What's the point having a gorilla if there's no holes in it? Well, I've got the bottom one, but it's still, it's like... I bet it's supposed to go around here. Yeah. That's rubbish. Oh, that's yeah, it's cool. quite nice. I like it. It's got 107,000 diesel. I think it's a PD variant. I don't really know. I put 35 psi in it. Came out still 35 psi, but I could hear air coming out of this. Did we just change it up? No. Uh, yeah, that'd be a brilliant idea. Just about the safe side. A3. Right, we're gonna get the Yeah, it's on 29. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's probably the problem. I just bet that thing's ruined in there. You ready? Oh, it seems alright. Oh, sorry, we'll chuck another one in there anyway. Right, car dealers, lend me your ear for a minute. Or whether you're a motorhome dealer or a boat dealer or anything like that, and you're having trouble with your payment provider, whether that be your kind of credit card machine or trying to take payments via bank transfer. As we all know, it can be a pain in the bum. If you follow Chops Garage on YouTube, he recently, maybe just within the last week, did a video on how 
His money just got held in limbo and it held up a whole car sale and it was just a complete nightmare. I might have a solution for you. Not too long ago, um, Anthony from Global Charge reached out to me and said they had a new system that used the customer's own banking security in order to get your payment. And it's perfect for car dealers. In short, you get your own portal online and you can type in there the customer's details. You type in how much money you want them to pay you and what it's for and it will send the customer a message. They can open that, it takes them to a link and it will take them through their own banking apps. They can use their normal kind of online banking security that they normally would and they'll pay you directly. So the money comes to you instantly, which is amazing for cash flow. And they also know that they're using their own security and they're using their own banking app. Therefore, they know it's secure. I've got my portal here for Barra Motors and I'm just gonna do myself a little one pound payment. So I'll put my email in, which if you ever wanna reach out to me is joe at barrowmotors.co.uk. Uh, I put my mobile number in, which Toby is gonna blur out so you don't give me random calls at like two in the morning, drunk. We're just gonna make it one pound. We can select our purpose of payment. Uh, we have got a test option here. Payment, deposit a vehicle and other. Let's do a test. Uh, it will ask you for the registration of the car as well. So I can't think of one. I'm gonna put in Duncan, my plumber's van. That says transaction link generated. Now I should get a text message. There we are, look. It says Barrow Motors on my phone. Now I can open that link and then you can choose your banking provider, go to your banking app and you'll make your payments. The other great thing about that is that I've got my own phone and Jason's got the work phone here. So as soon as one of the payments go through, we each get a text message. So Jason doesn't have to come and ask me whether we've actually received the money because he'll instantly get a notification that money's in the bank, deal's done, customer can take the car, all sorted. There we are. We'll blur out everyone else, but Joe Betty has initiated a bank transfer for one, one pound I have paid myself. Really handy. So whether you're in the car trade already and you rely solely on doing bank transfers, whether you've got a car machine you're not particularly happy with, or whether you're starting out in this and you wanna be able to offer a more professional payment solution, then check out Global Charge. We will have put the QR link on the screen for this entire thing, and you'll be able to find the link in the description as well. Highly recommend it. It has made things really streamlined and customers have been really impressed with it. Highly recommended. You've seen me clean so many cars, have you? I was going to hire another valeter, but there was some man on um, YouTube comments just this morning telling me I'm overstaffed and um, I'm trying to buy prestige and uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, but he does and he does it over in Ireland. It's fascinating getting these insights from people. Um, Guess we're gonna quit. Out of a job, Toby, sorry. <laughs> We've never done better in our lives. Um, yeah, but someone on Facebook let me know that I'm doing it all wrong. Got too many staff already. I'm trying to buy stuff, I'm gonna fail. Go and tell your mummy, she might care. Right, another one done. Inside, so I've done done the best that I can, but I'm not very good at much. So I'm gonna have to cry in the office now. There he is. I think you're up. So, so Joe did show me thumbnails. Uploading a picture from GIMP, but I need to make it smaller, basically. To shrink it, yeah. The size uh, just, to just, go, just go because exp hit no hit export. That's fine. Export as yeah. Yeah. Now hit export. Uh, yeah, replace. Now it's going to offer you. It won't. Yeah, there you are. Quality bar. 
bring the quality down to like 50% or something. Thank you. I'm going to write this down there so I don't forget. Uh, right, upload file. BMW 420. System works. <laughs>
Um, well, I wasn't planning on welding anything really anyway. I was just going to yeah, like cool. um, concrete posts in and then build off that. But it's the roof. But I don't know if you would just come off That's and just, just have tough. a slope. Yeah, just, just, just draw in there. Just you, go. Want to, you want to try and keep that side the same, don't you? That's 4.8 metres. Oh, perfect. Two posts each side. Frame it up. And put, a, put this sort of thing on the back end. Come down a bit or do you just want it open? I think you just have it straight open. Once I've taken this gate off, which obviously I have, and we'll take that gate off. I was like, actually, you've got a lot of room to clean out here, but A, the first problem is you get all the... Yeah. Get all, it gets all over the wheels because it's mushy. And secondly, once it started raining, like it did yesterday when I was cleaning cars, you're out cleaning in the rain. So it's a case of like, you'd probably like put all your cleaning detergents on over here, come here, jet it off. We'd have to do a concrete slab probably to extend it. Yeah. And then in there you could do the thingy. So you'd have like a three stage jobby. And then we'll move all our, like obviously we'll start stacking the tires in that corner. Cause now that we've got the fence panel out, as you'll see, we've got our one way yeah. cleaning system conveyor belt jobby the only thing is if we come across square there and come across square there oh where am i going oh, you still have room to swing in won't you obviously move the bin because yeah. that wall now starts cutting in doesn't it but you've got plenty of room to swing in mm -hmm. and then open up why well, don't you need to open up so yeah yeah you're going to be out to there aren't you so let's just swing in it uh, yeah, we'll use standard panels for the roof, standard panels for that side. This will sort out as we get there. We can yes. put a couple of um, translucent panels in the roof. You can actually put a translucent panel in the side. Well, to be fair, there. if we do, if we're going to put posts in and frame it up, I think it would be. I mean, that side is just the fence panel, same as it is here. We could just replace those fence panels with something nicer, because it is someone's garden, and then have the translucent panels at the top, so it's the same as it is there. It's not having a massive, great big building as in the same, if you know what I mean. I will see you gentlemen on the one. Switch later on. I like the bit where it's bent up. Okay, side end. Don't do it to the next one. Right, okay, end of week once again, Saturday. It's uh, 10 past two, so we are technically shut. And Toby and I are gonna go on the farm and we've got a Feel Good Competitions live draw to do today, which is for the Omega Moon Swatch. So you might catch up with us down there in a minute while we do that. But in the meantime, we need to discuss best car bought, best car sold, biggest headache and biggest win. So, um, best car sold. We haven't sold that many, sadly. But I would probably say the best one was one that's gone out today, so we probably can't show you it, but it was a BMW 330D. That was a very nice car. Yeah, so that was uh, probably the best car sold. Bought, what have I bought? We've got a 320D that's around there. That was quite nice. That's arrived. Um, what else have I bought this week? I think I've struggled to buy stuff this week, to be honest. And maybe that's been the biggest headache, is buying stock. Um, just not the right stuff out there and the stuff I have bid on seems to have gone quite strong so 
Um, yeah, been a bit of a nuisance, really. Biggest win, though. What's been the biggest win? Um, probably construction of our new washing. Was that this week, or did we do that last week? It must have been this week, yeah. I'm very pleased with my new one-way system around the building now. Um, yeah, that's probably the biggest win. I'll tell you what the biggest headache this week has been. It's been three series. So some of you may have followed me on TikTok and seen a white BMW 3 Series. I don't know if it's here. Anyway, the guy had been like twisted Jason's arm into giving him more for a part exchange on it. And uh, then when he turned up, had a great big dent in the front. He's like, oh, you didn't tell us about that. Oh, yeah, it would just touch out. It was just his little touch in. He hit a deer and it was dented. Both skins of the bonnet were dented. So that was a pain in the bum. Anyway, uh, took it down to the farm. Sophie was going to sell it. And it came up with an engine management light. Uh, for injectors, no not injectors, fuel rail pressure. So we've looked into it, we've checked the injectors, we've checked the fuel filter and it looks like probably wants a high pressure fuel pump which is quite expensive and it's a very difficult job to do, pain in the ass. So that was annoying. He didn't check that one, normally we'd try and plug them in but he didn't because the guy wanted to come late as well. Typical. And on top of that, it's, that was a, so a BMW E92 convertible. We've got BMW E92 320i up there as well, which Sophie was going to sell, but they did a HBI check just before, and it came up as stolen. And we've sold this car before and then bought it back, and we've got our history of reports where we've done them. All fine, all fine, all fine, and now it says it's got a history of it, it been stolen in 2019. Annoyingly, Experian do this occasionally, and just like, they just have a weird little moment. So now we've had to put in a request, and they will remove it, much like when we had that Mercedes SL500, that was saying that it was outstanding and stolen from 2003. Just banging my head against the wall. So, yeah, that's that. Um, we're looking a bit bare. Hopefully I can get some stock in next week. And that's it. We're going to crack on down to the farm, get on with the Feel Good Competitions live draw. If you haven't seen some of the cars that are available now, we've got a Volkswagen Polo R-Line. We've got an Audi RS5. We've got a tag for your watch. We've got a thousand pounds worth of Tui holiday vouchers. James from Chops Garage has got a CL500 on there. And there's also a Ford Sapphire thing. Ford, what is it? Ford Sierra Sapphire on there as well. All of which have got some kind of good cause. All the ones we're running are for Jack. Jack Guy is a local lad who's got neuroblastoma. Needs some treatment in America. So we are raising money for that. That's it. Maybe we'll sign, I'll tell you what, I'll sign off here but you may see us down the farm doing a giveaway. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm giving away another Tag Heuer watch. When we hit 75,000 subscribers to get on board, it's free to do, it helps me out, and you might win a watch. Don't forget to like it, because that helps the algorithm and boosts my massive ego. And yeah, that's it. Tune in same time, same place next week, and you'll see my lovely mug again. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Um, we are here to draw the winner for the Omega Moon Swatch mission to Mercury. 2601. 2601. Dean Greenfield, you're our winner. How easy was that? Congratulations, you have won the Amiga Moon Swatch. Thank you to everyone who got involved. We raised 200 pounds for Jack's neuroblastoma journey as well. So we will get that paid. Keep an eye on our socials on Instagram, Facebook. We'll put our donations, we always put them on there so you can see how much we're raising and we will get this posted out to Dean.